cryptocurrencies. One firm has been doing so for a while now, and they're set to dive even deeper into the crypto world. Bart Smith is the head of digital assets at Susquehanna, but here on Fast Money, we are calling him, really dubbing him now, Wall Street's new crypto king. <laughs> Welcome, crypto king. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> um, what are you trading right now? How much are you trading right now? And what's your ultimate goal? So we've been active in the space for a number of years. We have a dedicated team of traders and, and technologists and ops and admin people. Um, we, we have been trading Bitcoin for primarily, but in 2017, as kind of the, the marketplace expanded, we expanded the number of coins that we were trading and the number of exchanges that we were providing liquidity on. Um, and then in anticipation of the futures coming out, which didn't really come out with a, a tremendous amount of, of liquidity, but in, in April and certainly in May and June, trading somewhere on average of a couple hundred million dollars a day across CME and CFE futures combined. That's not retail, right? So, so for institutions out there who, who want to buy something other than cash settled Bitcoin futures, we're going to offer, you know, a small number of cryptocurrencies, virtual currencies, uh, call it four or five that we feel like is consistent with the regulatory landscape that's out there. So when you say consistent with the regulatory landscape, you mean ones that most people consider a commodity versus a security? And, yes. And, and how is that sort of influencing how you're building out this desk at a time when a lot of other people are doing so? So, I mean, the, the, the regulatory uh, landscape is, is, is real. And, and uh, I think there's a big debate publicly going on about whether there should be more or less regulation. And I think from our standpoint, it's really about regulatory clarity. And I think there's been a, a tremendous amount of focus on the SEC and Chairman Clayton's comments today and, and Ch uh, Chairman Giancarlo at the CFTC, but it's really a whole host of other regulatory agencies out there because the ecosystem kind of expands beyond traditional financial assets. Um, I think that the, the, the clarity will allow institutions to come in more than anything else. The institutions don't like to invest into uh, uncertainty. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're just taking the most conservative approach that we can and, and make sure that we are you know, operating uh, as such going forward. Mark, give us a sense, what is the demand like? So you talk about all this stuff that really needs to happen here, but you're a firm that does, you probably have thousands of clients and you trade actively with hundreds on a daily basis. Is part of your strategy getting ready because you think there's this, as our main man BK says, a wall of institutional money coming? And give us a sense for demand once you get more clarity around the regulatory. So there's a, there's a lot of conversations and it's always difficult to, to parse out if, if they're immediate uh, interest or, or you know, longer term interest. So there's, there's a lot of plumbing that needs to be built to trade cryptocurrencies uh, that, are in, that are different than equities or fixed income, right? So, um, so in that regard, the conversations are real and we're kind of building it out and we've built a, out an institutional grade platform that could scale very quickly should that switch get flipped that, that the BK and others have talked about. Uh, you know, what are the, the things that are going to make that you know, switch flip? And, and it's, it's the infrastructure, it's regulatory demand. It's really just a lot of education. And I think, I think a qualified custodian is something that's been well talked about. I think that would allow for ERISA assets and 40 Act assets to come in. Uh, frankly, you know, I think we've been very uh, uh, advocating for an ETF. We think it checks a lot of the boxes uh, for regulatory concerns, specifically as it relates to retail investors. Uh, and it checks a lot of boxes for institutional customers as far as custody and taxation and anti-money laundering and know your client, all the things that, that are around it. And ETF checks a lot of those boxes. So Chairman Clayton has made his concerns very clear. And it's, it's up to us in the ecosystem to, to try to address those concerns of, of, that he stated in the you know, denial last year of, the, uh, of the, right. the coin ETF. Sort of bigger picture, Bart, when you see order flow. So obviously he's kind of I love the title they gave him, the uh, Wall Street cri Crypto King, but he's pretty much identified something that if you've been following this channel, we've kind of gone through. There's a lot of hurdles that you need to jump through and it just takes time. And <clears throat> he mentioned the pipe, you know, being built out and the infrastructure being built out. And this is why now I want to turn the question to you guys. And I mean, what he's talking about I, I just don't see crypto's long-term staying down. I mean, he is very, very open and very, very clear that a lot of institutional money will enter this market. They're just waiting for the roads to be built. So um, it'd be really interesting because obviously when we did hit bear markets, we did get comments of a lot of detractors saying Bitcoin is going to go to zero. So my, my question to my audience is, if Bitcoin isn't going to go to zero, do you guys see it staying down? Um, and if it, if so, why? And uh, 
for me personally, I do still think it's going to take a little more time before everything is built out. But the long term outlook of crypto looks really good. And if you disagree with the Wall Street crypto king and I, uh, let me know your thoughts and your comments and I will talk to you soon.